Are we in a bubble, like Mr Cuban says? I think we're in a bubble. Yes, I think that's a very fair analysis of the position we're in. What is sparking this? What do you think the people that you're talking to, some of the fintech and startup companies that are working within blockchain as well, what, why are they feeding this, this euphoria? Well, I think it's really important to separate out the, uh, the Bitcoin technology, sorry, yeah. big pardon, the Bitcoin currency from the blockchain technology underlying it. And of course, blockchain has enormous and transformational potential. And uh, much of the interest in that is finding its expression in the valuation of Bitcoin. But I think what we're seeing is a galloping ahead of the interest in the technology manifesting in the price of Bitcoin. And not only in the price of Bitcoin, but also in Ethereum, Ripple, but it's also tempting a lot of companies to come out and raise funds in this novel new way of ICOs, initial coin offerings. You write a white paper and within minutes you're able to go to the crowd and raise millions. Is this something we're seeing fintechs in Europe adopt as well as we've seen in the United States? Well, there's certainly huge engagement with uh, ICOs, token sales, and I think, uh, uh, of course, the SEC in the United States has clarified its view on this recently. The Financial Conduct Authority in the UK, I think, is also taking a keen interest and, uh, and is keen to make sure that it, uh, it encourages innovation while making mm. sure it protects the markets and the consumers. Uh, the real potential, I think, of uh, ICOs is, uh, is, is, is very exciting, but it comes with uh, health risk. It's an extreme sport. <laughs> extreme sport. And so, therefore, do you think that we will start to see the UK regulations come in and say, look, these are going to be asset securities that we want to be regulated, that we want to be registered, in the same way that the SEC has? Well, the SEC has been consulting on this over the last few months, and I think um, they are uh, really not, they haven't declared a clear position looking forward just yet, but they are very clearly, of course, prioritising protection of the market and the consumer, while seeking to do everything they can to encourage uh, innovation and that is one of their key strengths as the sort of the superhero really of fintech in the UK the FCA is keen to make sure it supports innovation and, and helps the UK retain and develop its position as a, a great place to innovate in cryptocurrency